Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from mindfulmarketplace.com. And in this video, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to create a um, drip email campaign, campaign or an automated email sequence. Uh, in this case, we're using Podia. This is the backend uh, LMS and digital storefront software we use for mindfulmarketplace.com. Uh, you can see that at partners.mindfulmarketplace.com. But essentially, you know, those uh, lots of people are asking me in our private group about the quickest way of, you know, really kind of growing your platform, making money, uh, and creating a rapport or relationship with your audience. And there's no doubt that email marketing remains the highest ROI, uh, return on investment activity that any of us can do, right? I mean, I don't care who you are in the world uh, relative to this industry. You're just going to do better with some form of email automation or email marketing than you are on any other social media channel. As a matter of fact, I mean, you know, having spent, a, you know, shitload of money on Facebook and lots of other advertising mediums. The whole point of those exercises for me anyway, has been to get folks on a list and then to be able to write, you know, engaging, entertaining, enter, you know, educational, inspiring, empowering emails that convert strangers uh, into subscribers and subscribers into sales or essentially the initial you know, targeting on any platform, whether it's Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook or, you know, even to some degree organic traffic, really your 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 focus ought to be to get people onto an email uh, automation campaign that will allow you to follow up with them in a helpful and um, you know authentic way. All right, so there are. Uh, two different kinds of emails that you can send. Again, whether you're doing this via MailChimp or, you know, ConvertKit, any other platform that you may be choosing. Again, I do recommend Podia uh, for a number of reasons that I'm not going to cover here. But there are two different sort of universal, um, you know, types of emails. Let's say there are, or th there is. Um, uh, what are called broadcast emails, which are one-off announcement style emails, right? So you have, you know, something, a special event coming or a, um, you know, whatever, a interview with somebody special, a sale, a coupon, a birthday, it matters not. You know, that is something that you send out that is not part of an ongoing sequence. And the other types of emails uh, are generally called drip or automated or sequential emails. And that's what we're going to cover here. So in this case, you can see uh, I have a, a campaign for this, you know, segment of my list, right? This is, these are folks who are generally interested in authority sites, directories, marketplaces, et cetera, et cetera. Many of you watching this may actually be, um, you know, have be a subscriber to this list. So there are, uh, I believe this number is the number of uh, active emails in the sequence. This is the number that have been sent, 6,109, 6,000, a little over 6,000. Uh, opens, 36.7%. Uh, clicks, 9.7%. Unsubscribes 0.6, bounces 4.9, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So again, these aren't the broadcasts that I send out relative to what's happening in my, you know, business day to day. This is the sequential, um, you know, drip metered sequence that goes out when folks sign up. All right, so let's go. And again, this doesn't matter if you're using if you're using Mailchimp. This works. If you're using Drip or ConvertKit or you know GetResponse or I, I haven't used some of those, I, you know GetResponse I've never seen the back end of, but most of them have a similar interface as this, where you're just going to select the type of email that you want, new broadcast or new campaign, create a series of conditional emails 
that the conditions are the things that trigger or the user actions that trigger an automation and the broadcast as we just covered are um you know you're sending out a single email right a broadcast is just like shouting one thing out to the world and of course you can move broadcast emails into uh, drip campaigns i'll often do that for things that get a really good response so if something gets something resonates particularly well with my audience i will incorporate that or integrate the broadcast into a sequential campaign because i know that folks um you know enjoyed or interacted with that particular email or content in a way that seemed helpful to them all right so again here are my statistics from that same list on um on broadcast so 81,000, 20 percent open four percent click zero sales and the, this is brand new podia just incorporated this in in the last couple of days i'm not tracking that so that's why that shows zero 2.1 percent bounce these are the people that um you know left a shitty email or they closed an email or for whatever reason it bounced the one i have on record and this is the amount of people who unsubscribed 249 from my follow-ups all right so let us create a new campaign and we're going to call this and again these are all new things that podia just incorporated into their email platform making this much more robust than it was even a couple days ago all right so let's uh we're going to call this um collect connect and convert for demo purposes i'm going to delete this i'm just trying to show you how it's done all right now we're going to choose a condition and the condition is or the entrance condition and again this is something that podia just introduced but is really really um, helpful i mean if you're used to using something like this on mailchimp or any other email automation uh, software you'll know that the entrance condition is the thing that someone did to that's going to trigger this campaign so if i choose the condition here it's purchased a product uh, you know, pre-launch email sign up, subscribe to a membership plan, or just join my mailing list. And the options here are going to be, well, let's do this first. Let's say joins mailing list. All right. And this is, if I, if I went to purchase product, you're going to see all my products here, which I'm not going to show you. So instead we're just, or subscribe to plan. You're going to see those here. These are the plans, the membership plans. But to make this simple, I'm just going to have um, subscribe to mailing list because that just gives me one option because I only have one uh, general newsletter for my Podia store. All right. So at any time someone enters using this mailing list, they're going to get this sequence, right? Now you can also create exit conditions. So if someone buys something, for an example, I can create an exit condition that would preclude those folks from getting a subsequent email. Um, you know, because you you know you don't want to keep selling people on a product or a pitch or a program or a piece of content after they've already bought something. You know that it's just annoying, right? We all have experienced that. So. Podia just rolled this thing out as well, which has these exit conditions that allow you to preclude somebody from getting, uh, you know, this email sequence, right? After they've done something that a condition would be, you know, let's say purchases a product or subscribes to a plan. So if someone bought any of these products, right? And there's a lot of them, we would just, they would be automatically removed from that list and then you can actually in, you can add them to another list but we're not going to do that because that's really a little bit more complex for this and then you would just set up the the initial email in this case you know day zero means they're going to get it immediately after they enter the you know your funnel so to speak and this is the email this is the name token and this is the way you turn it on right here 
course, it wants me to fill out some content, so I was just like, hey. All right. And it wants me to choose an option. So let's say the exit condition, we don't want any, right? Now this down here should work. start the campaign all right and then we're just going to pause it because i don't want to send one all right so that is generally how podia handles email automation hopefully that was somewhat clear it might have been a little bit herky-jerky in places it is late it's 11 o'clock i've been recording all day so if this was unclear in any way as always feel free to shoot me an email, hi at mindfulmarketplace.com. You can visit us, partners.mindfulmarketplace.com to see any of our content and courses. Much of it is free. And um, yeah, I mean, if you are interested in signing up for Podia and you use our affiliate link, I'm giving everyone a, a consultation with either myself or one of my uh, partners over the month of August. So if you do that, and you sign up for Podia using our link, which I'll have in the description box if you're watching this on YouTube, just send an email to hi at mindfulmarketplace.com and I will get back to you with the details. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful and have a wonderful day.